Welcome to the students to class today on this um, Tuesday the 28th. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you're ready to take a quiz and also work on your math today. Let me say this, Ms. Chambers is not there today, so whoever the supervising teacher is, if you do not have a quiz, pause the video now and call the office and talk to Ms. Little. Um, I sent that to her already, and so make sure that you have that. And also, um, if the, stu if, if the students are in the room, they take the quiz. So if any student tells you, well, I was absent yesterday, or I have this reason that that is not true, and they know that if they're in the room, they take the quiz. Okay, all right, here we go. Um, let's see what we have first here. Test on Friday, so please don't forget that. Go ahead and turn in your assignment from page 617 from yesterday. Some of you already did turn it in, but those that did not, put your name on it and turn it in now. Incompletes, there are none because we haven't done homework for quite a few days. There's no incompletes. If you miss a day of class, go to this website here, type in the date that you missed, and follow the instructions. <laughs> Today we're going to take a quiz, then we're going to take notes, then we're going to work on homework. Okay? This homework is due tomorrow, okay? Um, the video today is only 13 minutes long. It is about properties of chords of circles, okay? Only 13 minutes, so pretty short. The homework assignment, <coughs> the homework assignment for today is page 623, these numbers here. So please copy that down, and that's the homework assignment you will work on today in class and tonight at your house if you do not finish it today in class. The teaching video is lesson 11.6. The homework video is lesson 11.6 homework. Now let's go over your quizzes. So at this time, please pause the video, and whoever the supervising teacher is, go ahead and pass out the quizzes. Once everyone has a quiz on their desk, go ahead and restart this video. Okay, problem number one simply says find the length or the value of R, okay? And notice that AB is tangent to circle C. Alright, so that should, um, hopefully you know what to do there. Problem number two, segments AB and AD are tangent to circle C. Alright, I give you the length of one of those segments, tell me what the length of the other segment would be. Numbers three through eight. I've given you one circle, and you know one arc has a measurement of 59 degrees, another arc has a measurement of 36, okay? Um, I want you to find the measure of all of those other arcs, okay? Each one of those is an arc. Find the measurement of the arc. And then lastly, number 20, uh, set, uh, number, um, uh, number 9, I want you to find the measure of that red arc, okay? find the measure of the red arc. And that's it for the quiz, okay? Now, okay, students, when everyone is done with their quizzes, start the teaching video, lesson 11.6, okay? And then work on your homework, which is due tomorrow. By the way, whoever the supervising teacher is, you can fast forward this video. In fact, you need to. So start, start it at, let me look at my lesson plan book here real quick. Start that video at, 15 so you can skip the first three minutes and 15 seconds in fact you need to um, just to save time okay and that's it guys uh, have a great day um, contact me if you have any questions and I will talk to you tomorrow